Wayne, Storage King. Welcome back. By now, you've shared. I see you out there. I see you. You're watching. You're trying to learn. Some of you guys are experienced. You guys have bought a couple of storage lockers. Some of you guys have never bought a storage locker. You don't know what it is to buy one, to go to an auction. Okay? So, on this particular video, I'm going to show you how the master does it. Okay? I'm going to teach you in a couple of series how it's done. First, you got to decide you want to do full time, you want to do part time. What is it you want to do? What is it you want to earn out of this business? Okay? You can do part time and you can still make a great amount of money. But one of the things that you really have to con concentrate on is when you buy these storage units, you have to have the time to clean them out. Okay? Because you have a certain amount of time where they have to be cleaned out. If not, you're in big godas with the facility and they might not ask you to ever come back again why because you didn't abide by the agreement that was made when they told you to bid you didn't listen you weren't organized and that's one of the things in this business that you have to learn okay you got you can't be a pack rat if you want to be a pack rat stop right now just exit my video don't even listen to anything that i have to say Okay, because you, you, you're not going to do great at it. One of the things that you constantly have to do over and over and over again is you have to check the items that you have and see whether or not they're sellable items. And ask yourself, hey, listen, how long have I had this thing? Get rid of it. Dump it. Throw it away. Give it to a friend. Put it on let go. Let somebody come get it for free. Because guess what? It's taking up valuable space in your unit that you could use for something that's going to help you make money. And this is the whole key about this business. You want to constantly churn, 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 churn. You want to constantly make money. This is the key. You want to keep fresh items in your inventory all the time. Never stop keeping fresh items in your inventory all the time. Because guess what happens? You store all this stuff in a storage unit or wherever you're going to store it in your house. It starts accumulating. You have no space and you can't buy anything else. So it stop you, stops you from going to the auction and you just become a deadbeat. Okay? So, one of the number one things that you have to do as a storage queen or king, if you're a newbie, and that's what they call somebody who is brand new to the business, you have to figure out what you want out of it, whether or not you want to do part-time, full-time, and how much time you're going to put into this business, because this is a great business that you can make great money no matter how many hours you put into it, but you have to be dedicated in order to be successful at it, okay? So, you with me? You, 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 you ready to ride? Okay. All right, you ready to get your feet wet? Are you ready to get your feet wet? Okay, that's what you have to ask yourself. So one of the things that you have to do is you have to have transportation. What are you going to store this, this, this thing in? Are you going to use a U-Haul truck all the time that's going to dig into your profits? Do you have a van? Do you have an SUV? you have a trailer? What is it you're going to use to move these items around? And where are you going to store it? And how big of a space that you do, do you possibly need? When I started, I started not knowing anything nobody taught me the business i didn't know anything about what i was getting into okay i just went i showed up and i just tried to figure it out on my own and i figured it out pretty well and nobody really told me anything i figured out how to get rid of books how to get rid of jewelry what not to sell all these things that you have to learn in time okay but guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna teach it to you for free damn near free okay I'm going to give you a couple of series that will teach you this business and make you a master. I'm going to make you a master. A master at what you do, at your craft. And I'm not talking about a lot of money. See, a lot of people have this misinterpretation that you have to have all this money to get into this business. You do not have to have a lot of money. You got 100 bucks? You have 100 bucks in your pocket right now. I, I'm asking you if you have $100 in your pocket right now. No. Okay. All right. Okay. You have 50 you don't have 50 you got 25 bucks oh, okay there you go you can start this business right now with 25 dollars in your pocket i always ask people can you look at somebody and tell how much money they have in their pockets no you cannot so when you go to these auctions don't get intimidated by anybody that you see see these guys have and these ladies have a clique of people that they that they have in the circle and the first thing that they want to do is they want to run you out of the business Okay? But you have to stick your foot in and let them know, hey, listen, I'm here to stay and I'm not going anywhere. This is my turf as well as yours. You can't push me around. You can't tell me to do anything. I belong here just like you do. 
And if you don't recognize that presence and show that presence to other people, you're going to just be one of the other guys. Okay? And that's where I come in. I made them, I made the veterans in this business recognize me and let them know I'm not to be played with. And I learned all kinds of tricks and games and ways to run them up and all kinds of stuff that I'm going to let you into that you have to know. Okay? All right. So let's open this door right here for a second. All right? Let's switch the atmosphere a little bit so I can just, you know, let you take a sneak peek again at another storage locker that I have. This is a pretty big unit right here. Uh, this unit is a um, 20 by 10, I believe. Okay? And um, if you look, you can see um, an iFit um, machine that I have. I got some barber chairs, and I think if you watch the other videos, you'll see the barber chairs, um, and they are now dismantled. I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to put them back together. Um, I'm going to upholstery them myself, okay? There's one right there that's down to the studs, and here's another one right here that's down to its bare bones, and I'm going to reupholster them. They're very, very, very valuable. So I will take the time out and put them back together just the way I want them, okay? Now, when I touch, I wanted to touch bases with you on taking your time out and putting stuff together. You're not a fix-it man in this business, or you're not a fix-it woman in this business. You are here to make money. So you don't want to spend all kinds of times cleaning stuff up and putting stuff back together. Guess what? That cuts into your time. Everything in this business is based off of time, time management. You have to manage your time wisely. If you don't manage your time wisely, this business is going to eat you alive. And nobody cares about you about what you have done and how long you have been here and whether or not you, 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 you're coming or going or, or anything. So you have to manage your business wisely, your time wisely. Time management is extremely important in this business. Extremely, extremely important. So what you learned today? Two things. You don't need that much money. Time management is very important. Oh, we forgot one thing. Don't be a hoarder. You cannot be a hoarder. If you're a hoarder, you don't belong here. Okay, I see guys even riding around with stuff in their vehicles. Loaded up all the time. Loaded up. Their vehicle is constantly loaded all the time with items. Why? Why? Get rid of the items. Get rid of the items that you have. You know, make space for new meat. Okay? So, you don't need much money. Don't waste your time on items, cleaning up items. Okay? Um, another thing. Do not bring people with you to the auction because they want to get into your business. Okay? And, and, and when I say get into your business, they want to partner up with you. First, you have to stand on your own. You have to be able to stand on your own before you can bring anybody into this business. If you can't stand on your own, how are you going to bring somebody else into the business? How are you going to stand on your own when you don't know yourself what you're doing? Okay? So, a lot of the veterans out there, they still even need to be re-educated on this whole business because they just take money and I'm talking about huge sums of money. They have money coming from wherever they have the, these money, the, this money coming from and they just spend it wild and end up with junk. This is not what you want to be. This is not the type of person that you want to be. You want to be able to come to the door just like this. You want to be able to look through the locker, everything that you see and you want to be able to figure out who is this person? Who is this person that I'm getting ready to bid on? What happened to them? What happened to them? That's the key thing that you want to try to figure out. What happened to them? Is this a family? Is this something that the storage facility probably set up? They probably put all their little junk together and, and make me want to bid on it? Because it does happen. Yep, I want to tell you that. It does happen. So you have to be extremely careful, okay? Because you can get duped. Yes, you can get duped, okay? Some of these facilities do it. Okay? I have witnessed it myself by getting duped. But I got lucky because guess what? They weren't smart enough to dig through every single thing. And I found some gold and I found some silver and I still made out okay. Okay? So, that's it for me for now. Okay? You have to figure out what is it you want to do. Watch the rest of my videos. If you haven't seen me or you've seen me for the first time, check me out. Once again, I ask you, my friends, the ones that's been following me from day one, Share, 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 share. I want myself, I want, to, I want to grow. And also, I want you to grow with me. I want you to become as professional as I am. I want you to be able to have things, not just to, to spend 
uh, or money to spend on things or every single time you turn around you're you're selling something I want you all to have something for long term things that you can look back and you look at and you realize that you when you retire or you want to take a trip you can sell these items this is a business that will give you perpetual cash all the time all the time you know you know you have to know what you want to do out of this what is it you want to do? What is it you want to be? Where do you want to be in this business? You have to figure it out, okay? And through figuring this out, you can, you can know exactly where you stand in this business. So when you stand at an auction and you are ready to bid, you know that, hey, listen, I belong here. I know what I want. I know what I'm getting myself into. And one of the things before you even go to a storage unit and before the auction even starts, the number one thing is, how much am I going to spend? How much am I going to spend? And you have to keep your budget accordingly. Okay? Peace. I'll talk to you next time.